Okay, so we've got our jar with orange peels. Now, as you see, my jar is not full, but it's full enough. I can add other fruit to this if I wanted to. I just, it's what I've got, so it's what I'm going to use. Okay, we're gonna wanna add a tablespoon of sugar for every cup of water you're gonna use. So I've got two tablespoons ready to go. And then we're going to fill it with water. Now we wanna leave room. We are not going to fill it all the way to the top because this thing is gonna bubble and fizz and do all kinds of good stuff. You put your sugar in there, you made sure you stirred it up real good, and then you're just gonna put a cheesecloth on it, or you can use um, a coffee filter if you have that. I'm just gonna put a, rubber, <laughs> put a rubber band over it. Yeah. And we're going, right. it needs oxygen to be able to get in there, but we don't want bugs. And this can draw fruit flies. So just be prepared for that. Uh, you can go to the store and get those little fruit fly cups so and stick it right on top. And, um, it, you know, help you with that. Um, you might get lucky and you might not draw fruit flies, but I have a dog door and everything comes in through that dog door. And I usually get bananas and I don't eat them when I'm supposed to. Anyway, fruit flies. And open it up, mix it around a little bit every day for the next like 30 days and you're gonna want to keep track because <laughs> I've got no memory and you know uh, that's not good so take a little sticker or something and put today's date on it so that way you know what 30 days from today is you know you're not sitting there going was that last week I made that was that two weeks ago you want to know so just give yourself the reminder and make sure you put a little tag on it Our, at the next day we're gonna take this off and we're gonna look in there and what do you see? Well, I see my oranges swelled up and absorbed most of my water. So I'll push them back down. Underneath the water. And put my cheesecloth right back on. Okay, cheesecloth back on. And I put on my rubber band. as you can see in the process the orange peels have all kind of broken down and look kind of ooey gooey and all of that by scent which unfortunately we don't have smell of vision but you can smell the vinegary goodness and all we have to do now is strain it we're going to go ahead and strain it using some cheesecloth. So we're going to put our little thing there. Put our cheesecloth over. I've learned the hard way that cheesecloth likes to slide. So we're just going to kind of give ourselves a little rubber band to hold it on there. Hey, making a mess. Can be quite gross looking and it breaks down those orange peels it makes an ooey gooey mess but as it strains through as you can see it's nice and clear well orange and clear but <laughs> not ooey gooey <laughs> and once you've gotten most of the vinegar to drip through you just grab it up and you can squeeze it a little to get the last of that vinegar out of it. 